Hello my loves, how are you? Happy Thursday. I wanted to come on and do a mini meditation on feeling and processing our emotions. I know so much is coming up right now for a lot of us at home and we've had a lot of amazing discussions within the group. And so I wanna come on and I actually put together 10 steps to process your emotions and feel your emotions and move through your emotions. I'll post the picture after, but I'm gonna do a mini meditation right now to guide you through those 10 steps so you can just lay there and feel them and process them on your own time, okay? And this is based on my knowledge in science and studies through the HeartMath Institute, as well as tons of books and my own practice of really feeling, honoring, and moving through our emotions so that we can grow and evolve from them and strengthen from within them. So get comfortable. And if you want to join me now, that's awesome. And or if you want to come back, that's good too. Whatever works for you. So if you can actually do a little meditation with me right now, join me and we're just going to chill. Okay. Hello, people. Hi, Leah. Say hello when you come on in, bring in a heart and we'll just presentation. Okay, get comfortable. And let's start with your breath. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Slow our bodies down. and honor the time that we're taking to be with our body right now. Slow down your breath. Feel the oxygen go through your nose, through your body, into all of your cells. And I want you to bring awareness to your body. Where do you have tension in your body? How are you feeling? And with every breath, I want you to breathe into the tension in your body and feel it just melt away as you bring oxygen and love into every area of your being. And I want you to identify your emotions that you're feeling right now. Take a moment to really understand how you're feeling. Are you feeling sad, anxious, overwhelmed, peaceful? nervous it's okay to have multiple emotions but let's just take the time to identify and see the emotions that are coming up in our body And I want you to feel where you're feeling that emotion in your body. Do you feel it in your hands? Your throat? Your head, your chest, your heart? How is this emotion presenting itself in your body? In your stomach? Emotions need to flow in order to be processed. And when we don't acknowledge our emotions, they sit in our body and in our cells.
You may have many emotions sitting in your body that need to be released. Connect to your body. Take this chance to increase your connection and feel what your emotions are doing and how they are sitting in your body. I'd like you to now listen to the thoughts running through your mind. Emotions are a byproduct of thought processes and patterns that have been going on in our mind, sometimes knowingly and sometimes unknowingly. So take this moment to listen. Listen to your mind. Listen to what you're telling yourself. Are you feeling scared about the future and uncertain? And what are you telling yourself about yourself? Are you telling yourself that you're going to be screwed and you can't do this? What do you believe about yourself in this moment? and in these emotions and in these thoughts. Notice if you go down a spiral and try to observe these thoughts as opposed to becoming your thoughts. Notice the difference when you can observe what you're thinking as opposed to being consumed by what you're thinking and consumed by the emotion that your thoughts produce. And take a moment and express gratitude for what is being revealed to you. Be thankful for your emotions because your emotions are showing you a thought process that is going on in your mind. So often we have this video and this tape being played over and over in our minds. And until we decide to stop and listen and pay attention to what is actually being played in our minds, only then can we take ownership of our thoughts and feel inner peace and true freedom. Your emotions and thoughts are being asked, are asking you to look at them as an opportunity for growth, expansion, healing, and raising your vibration. I thank you thoughts and emotions for showing me what is going on in my mind and the state that I've been living in for so long. I choose now to change and be one with my emotions, honor my emotions and accept my emotions so that I may heal and step into my highest self with a deeper connection to self, others and the world around me. And I want you to say to yourself and say to that fear, speak to that fear, speak to the uncertainty and speak to those thoughts going through your mind as if she were a little child speaking to her mother. And as the mother, I want you to say to her, I understand. I totally get it. I get why you're scared. I get why you feel this way. It's understandable. But now in this moment, we get to reparent ourselves. 
we get to change the patterns and the pathways going through our mind. And we get to choose a new path. And as you speak to the fear and the inner child within you, sending her so much love and acceptance for where she is. It is now our opportunity to work together and reparent what is unhealed within us. I hear you. I see you. And I understand. But we're going to choose something different now. And we're going to move forward in love and acceptance of ourselves. For everything is working for us. For us to continue to raise our consciousness and vibration of ourselves and the planet. I know you are doing your best. And I see how hard you're trying to work. And I am with you every step of the way. I'm sorry for not being there for you, for ignoring you, for not paying attention to you. We are in this together. And I'm going to try my very best to continue to listen to you and soothe you when you are upset and continue to grow with you. We are in this together. I love you and I see you. And with each breath, I want you to put your shoulders back, open your heart, and allow the love to, throw, to flow through your body, connecting you with your fear and insecurities and uncertainties. And from here, we choose to keep our hearts open, to see our fear, honor our fear, but observe our fear and not become our fear. It is time that we live as our highest selves and be one with our human form while realizing that our human fears and insecurities and conditioning are just that. It is not who you are. It is separate from your being. And as you feel the two beings within you, the fear and then the highest self connected to love and flow and joy. We choose in each moment to connect to our highest self, be one with our fear, honor our fear, see our fear, but do not be our fear. With each breath, we continue to connect to our highest self 
that is confident, full of faith and ease. And I choose to surrender and trust in my journey, lean into uncertainty and release all expectations of how my future must go. I am completely fine just the way I am. With an open heart, I allow love to flow into my life and release control of what I think must happen and how it must happen. I am here to love and be of service to the world and be a light that ignites the light in others. And as I go out into the world, I now set an intention for the rest of my day. May you cultivate peace and love and appreciation for yourself and others. And if there is a person or situation that you may still be feeling resistance around, take this moment to send a rampage of love and appreciation towards them. For we are all just doing the best that we can with all that we know and all that we've learned. And with this connection, may we continue to grow together as one and realize that we're all so much more alike than different. We are one with ourselves and the earth around us. And I choose to align to the truth of who I am. And with these last, last breaths, feel the love and appreciation vibrate through your being and radiate outwards. As you see the light within you and feel the light within you for your light ignites those in others. I honor you, I am with you, we are one. One last breath as we feel our body coming back to reality. We get to choose our reality moving forward. One with self, one with others, one with the world. I love you so much and I appreciate you being here. I hope this mini meditation helped guide you through your emotions and everything that you're feeling right now as you honor where you're at and you become one with them moving forward. Sending you so much love. I hope you have a wonderful day.